Hello everyone, it's Tornina here. During my first year in Portia, I have made lots of metal bars. It hasn't always been clear how or what you need in order to make them. Therefore, I have made this video in which I will explain in detail how to make metal bars and what you need for them. It's important to note that for metal bars, you need two basic things. A selection of metal ores and a furnace. So let's start off with the first furnace you are going to create, and that is the stone furnace. The stone furnace can be created very early in game, since you already know this diagram once you arrive in Portia. It will require one stone stool and ten wood, and can be made at the assembly station. All the items that you can make with the stone furnace require ingredients that you can get from abandoned runes number one. These runes can be found in Portia, underneath the Church of Light. The following items can be made using the stone furnace. Number one, glass. Glass requires eight sand and will take three hours and 30 minutes to make. Number two, stone bricks. Stone bricks require eight stone and will take two hours and 30 minutes to make. Three, copper bars. A copper bar requires three copper ore and will take two hours and 30 minutes to make. Four, bronze bars. Bronze bars require four copper ore and one tin ore. It will take three hours and 30 minutes to make a bronze bar. And last but not least, charcoal. Charcoal is an item that you really don't need early in game. It will be an ingredient for carbon steel bars, which you are going to be needing a lot of. It requires three wood and takes one hour to be made. As I mentioned in my one year in Portia, 10 tips and tricks video, try to keep your furnaces working 24 seven. This can save you valuable time in the future. There are a couple of items that I recommend making as soon as you have the resources to do so. The number one is bronze tools. Bronze tools allow you to destroy bigger trees and bigger stones, which will yield more resources. You will need a simple tool, like a simple axe or pickaxe, two or three bronze bars, and an upgrade kit. These upgrade kits can be bought from total tools. Upgrading your tools require a level 1 work table. Another item that I recommend making is a bronze sword. Don't be like me and think a metal pipe or a racket will do fine when you're battling enemies. You are much better off using a bronze sword or an enhanced bronze sword. These can be crafted at a level 2 work table and require a practice sword, 5 bronze bars and 1 upgrade kit for a bronze sword, or a bronze sword, 5 bronze bars and 5 teeth for an enhanced bronze sword. The next furnace that you will be able to make is the silver furnace. The silver furnace can be acquired in two ways. You can either give 5 data discs to Petra in the research center and wait for 2 days to obtain the blueprint in your mailbox. You can also obtain the crafting diagram during the Saving the Tree Farm mission. The silver furnace can make all the metal bars that you could make with the stone furnace, but in a smaller amount of time. It doesn't change the amount of ingredients that you'll need to make the metal bars. Also important to know is that the stone furnace has a fuel capacity of 20 wood, where each piece of wood provides one hour of fuel time. The silver furnace has a fuel capacity of 40 wood, therefore 40 hours worth of fuel once filled up with wood. Lastly, the stone furnace can craft up to 10 of the same item, while a civil furnace can craft up to 25 of the same item. The following items can be made by the civil furnace additionally to the items that also could be crafted by the stone furnace. Number 1. Iron bars. Iron bars take 3 iron and 2 hours and 30 minutes to be made. Iron bars can be used to create iron tools and an iron sword. Both require a level 2 work table. Number 2. Carbon steel bars. Carbon steel bars are one of the most important metal bars that you are going to have to make, especially during your first year in Portia. It requires 5 iron ore and 1 charcoal and takes little over 3 hours and 30 minutes to be made. Number 3. Lead bars. Lead bars require 3 lead ore and 48 minutes to be made. Number 4. Tin alloy. Tin alloy requires 3 lead ore and 1 tin ore and just under 3 hours and 30 minutes to be made. And number 5. Strengthened glass. Strengthened glass takes 2 regular glass and 1 tempering liquid to be made and takes 48 minutes. All the items that can be made in the civil furnace require either ingredients from abandoned runes number 1 or abandoned runes number 2, which is located on a hill in the middle of the town. Next up is the industrial furnace. The only way to obtain the diagram for the industrial furnace is to give Petra 10 data disks and wait for 6 days to receive the diagram in your mailbox. The fuel capacity is 60 wood and it can create up to 50 of the same item at once. It can make the same items as the civil furnace and greatly reduces the crafting time of those items. In addition to those items, the industrial furnace can also craft manganese steel bars. Manganese steel bars require 4 iron ore and 1 manganese ore. 
Both oars can be found in abandoned ruins number 2. It takes just over 3 hours and 30 minutes to be made. Manganese steel bars can be used to upgrade your iron tools into fisherman tools on the level 3 work table. Welding rods. Welding rods are made out of 3 tin ore and 1 copper ore and takes just over 30 minutes to be made. And last but not least is the electric furnace. You can obtain the diagram by giving Petra 20 data disks and then wait for 6 days to receive the diagram in your mailbox. It also requires a level 2 assembly station besides the diagram in order to make the electric furnace. It doesn't use wood as fuel, but condensed power stones. The electric furnace is quite different from the other furnaces since it cannot make the same items that the stone, civil and industrial furnace can make. It can make stainless aluminum, hard aluminum and magnesium powder and requires a mix of aluminum ore, magnesium ore, manganese ore and copper ore. They all take between 2 and 2.5 two and hours to be made. Both aluminum and magnesium ore can be found in the desert ruins. And there you have it! These were all the furnaces and metal bars that you can come across in Porcha. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a video. If you got any questions for me please leave them in the comment section down below. Have an awesome day and I see you guys next time!